fish on. Big fish. Big fish. No, 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 big trout, big trout. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I just got off the water filming this video. Um, headed out today, going to practice for a big speckled trout tournament I have tomorrow in some really nasty conditions. It was a um, big cold front just came through, huge negative tide, super, super like 15 to 30 mile an hour plus winds, super windy. Um, had a bunch of rain last night. I mean, it was basically the worst conditions you could possibly imagine and ended up being an awesome day of fishing. And if you guys want to see how I did that and, you know, learn how to do it yourself, I go over all the tips and techniques towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole thing through. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so starting off, I'm expecting these fish to be sitting in some deeper water. I'm only about uh, three feet right now. I'm on this little edge of a bar. Uh, we got a negative tide right now, so you know you can see how far the banks are down. But it'll, it'll be rising throughout the day. I'm gonna start off throwing this, um, you know, just a paddle tail grub on the bottom. This is a uh, Slam Shady 2.0 in the Fred color with a, um, I think that's a 3 16 Ned head. Um, and I'm gonna once I get off this little flat here, I'm just gonna start off by checking a couple of these canals. But I'm guessing they'll be in the main creek, so we're just gonna move through here and. Uh, so you can find some fish and it, it's got some we've we're getting some pretty solid uh wind drift um wind gusts sorry um it's giving me wind drift um so you know if you guys are getting some wind noise i apologize for that big fish on big fish Big fish. I don't know what we got here, but it's a good fish. Red, I think. Good fish. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, real good fish. Catch up to him here. Get around my other trolling line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good red fish. There we go. No, 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 big trout, big trout. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a stud, hold on girl. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, oh my gosh, yes. It's a real good trout. Yeah, Woo! yes, that's a 24 incher. Yes, here we go. That's what I came here for, boys. Oh, that's a good freaking trout. All right, let me get this other rod out of the way real quick. Oh. Man, just spat it right in the net. Look at that big girl. Oh. Oh, stay on there, girl. Oh, oh. Calm down, girl. Calm down. Calm down. Whew, that is a stud trout. That is a big trout. That is what we're here for, guys. Let's see how long this big girl is. 23 and a half that is a fine fish definitely my PB I want to get her in the water for a second I'm gonna get another pitcher but I want to make sure she stays nice and lively I touched her and she took off. Took off under there. All right, guys. Well, I think it's a good idea where we're out here after. I'm gonna keep covering some more area, but she was basically just sitting right out here in the middle of one of these, this ditch. And, uh, you know, she ate. Just a, uh, a slam shady on the bottom there, just trolling it, which often it has been one of my most productive ways to catch fish this time of year just dragging along these tidal rivers so uh, that's what we're after let's see if we can get it done a couple more times explore a couple more areas but definitely makes me feel a little bit better about my chances for tomorrow Feel 
strong. Definitely taking some drag on me. Oh, another real good trout. Oh yeah, here we go. It's not as big as that last one. Pretty dang close. Let's see. You guys might have found them. Come on, girl. Come on. Come this way. Yeah, that's going to keep. Man, I needed it. Y'all. I got my longer net. I gave it to my brother on the boat. Yeah, that's another good fish. It might not be 22. It's probably closer to 20. It's a fine fish, though. That was on the uh, Egert's Cape. Eager baits wedged hell more. How long she goes? Let's see. Here. About 19 inches, a little over 19. 19 and a half. There we go. I mean, if I can get a 23 tomorrow, I don't mind a 19 being my small fish. That's not a bad, not a bad trout there at all. Get her back and uh, just keep moving through. But might have found a pattern. I'm feeling, feeling hopeful. There she goes. Looking good. Hold up. Hooked up again. There we go. This one feels like a smaller one. Definitely another trout though. I feel the head shakes. I mean, it might be a decent fish. It's not, it doesn't feel huge, but it doesn't feel like, I mean, I'm not, it's not like a 14 incher, you know? It doesn't feel like above 20, but we'll see. Another 19, eight, oh, there she went. That was about another 19, 20 incher, okay. Alrighty, well that's a heck of a good sign. They definitely seem to be preferring this uh, wedge tail mullet now. I'm running this one a little bit closer to the bank, but that was three in just a couple minutes. Oh, I got fish on. Another good fish. Feels like, feels like a real good fish. yet what 14 inches 15 inches probably all right hold on look at it. it's not a bad fish by any means in the ice chest any other about that size i'm gonna leave them in my splash while i just back to the truck so I'll take care of them in a bit but hang off this mess this wind just makes everything so difficult so much harder than it ought to be yeah there we go that's a real good fish oh this is another stud oh yeah come on come on come on don't come off big girl don't come off Fish. Alright, not as big as I thought, but she's a good trout. Get her in the 
ね。another 18 incher probably 17 18 inches about a little over about 17 and a half once you close the mouth on her so another definitely not as big as this g hit like a freight train but another really nice so i could try this one's kind of on this that's about i don't want to keep them over 18 inches but i'm gonna go ahead and Keep her too any bigger it should go back but that's about the perfect eating size and i really just don't like killing any bigger than that because they are the you know your breeder population and honestly you get a pretty good bit of meat off a 17 18 inch trout so i want to get back in position then i'll take a minute to show you guys what exactly i'm doing here Alrighty guys, so all I'm doing to catch these trout is slow trolling paddle tails. This is a really um, easy and effective uh, technique, especially during the winter months for smaller trout in tidal creek or river systems. And all it is, is you know, you got a you know, usually between a two and a half, a four inch paddle tail on a lead head, um, or even just a plain swim bait. And you're just dragging that bait on the bottom at a really slow speed. Um, you know, when you got a cold front comes in, these are fish, they're trying to stay warm. Right there, these trout. Right there, usually in the deepest water areas of your um, of the body of water, and they're trying to stay there and stay warm. And what this is doing is they're just slowly dragging the bait right over their heads and allowing you to cover a lot of water. And they don't usually want a lot of movement or action this time of year. Um, you know, when it's down cold. So when that steady movement of your boat, and you know, you do get some slight movements with it, you know, bouncing the bottom, or you, know, you hit a wave and it moves your rod a little bit. And that's all the action your bait needs, and the trout absolutely crush it. So really, you know, you just take your bait, and I'll use anywhere from, um, you know, this is a 1 8 I've got some official on that today, some low ones on 3 16. And I'll use anywhere from, you know, I've used anywhere from like a 1 16 to a 3 8 or bigger, depending on your water depth, um, and if you need to be holding right on the bottom, you know, right where I'm fishing today. Um, about between six and nine feet and a four ounce works really well for that but you know just whatever fits well for that um but or a little less than a quarter ounce so 3 16th has been doing the best today and color or in the paddle tail style doesn't really matter that much usually i like to have a light and a dark color or you know mix it up a little bit because you can easily run you know two rods at the same time either you know if you're fishing either on a boat or a kayak this is a great way um super easy way to fish off a kayak and uh, you can run those on um you know light and dark color just let the fish tell you what they're wanting better so and then all you do is you know toss it out behind you and just troll around i like to usually go you know between um usually around between one and a quarter and three miles an hour anywhere between there usually i find the sweet spot is right about two miles an hour you know, the that i usually am not, not necessarily the most exciting way to fish if you aren't catching them, but I mean, if you're catching fish, you're catching fish, right? So, and sometimes it's the only way during when it gets real cold. This is also super easy to do if it's, you know, really windy or rough and, you know, that wind's just catching your line and you're not able to make your cast, you know, cast the spots you want to and make a good retrieve. And it definitely catches big fish, you know, seeing that 23 and a half inch I caught earlier, though. You can catch fish doing this during the summer months, but a lot of times they are moving more out to open water areas and they're not as concentrated so you will catch fish you know slow trolling almost any time i'm moving i'm slow trolling a paddle tail behind me because it just straight up catches fish all the time but just because they're not as concentrated you know in a, a pothole or in the riverbed um during the summer months it's just not going to be as effective anyways i hope that helps you guys out and helps you get some more travel to see if i can pick up a couple more here today it's about time for me to head in um gotta get everything ready for my tournament tomorrow and yeah we'll see how this technique holds up for that so yeah go catch some trout
go. Perfect one to complete up the bunch for dinner. It's about, it's about a 16 incher. Another gorgeous trout, like I said, guys. So just flat out catches. A lot of nice fish, all sizes. Even in terrible wind and conditions like this, it just works. All right, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully learned a thing or two. I'm getting out pretty dang early around 4.30 tomorrow to get out here, fish for my tournament, and I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, that video should be coming out soon, hopefully. Hopefully get a good video from that, and I'll add it to the description below once it's finished. But otherwise, if you wanna see that video, hit that subscribe button and just stay tuned because it'll be out in just a couple of days. Thanks for watching.